Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Creating with the Heart, and today I am sharing a card that I made with my brand new Cricut cartridge. Let's see if I can find it here. The Artiste cartridge. Yay, I just got it, and I, I love it. There really is a lot of great, great stuff on here. So today's card is, I wanted to use the pop-up. So there is a really cute, actually two really cute pop-ups on the cartridge. There's one that says hello, and I forget what the other one says. I think we're using hello. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you my card. I'm starting off with um, <clears throat> the card base that comes with the um, with this pop-up. And I think I cut it, looks like the height is about four inches. And so it cuts this all my pieces out of the way. It cuts this um, scallop type card and so I went ahead and I used my <clears throat> Echo Park Summer Hello Summer paper to cut a mat for the top and I already stamped my sentiment just because which is from Honey Pie from Pink by Design so I went ahead and did that and so this is just gonna go down right here like this so I'm gonna go ahead and I hear that there the front of the card is a very simple design I think but the wow factor is in the pop-up which is really 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 cute I like it a lot I can't wait to try some other versions Okay, so here's that, <clears throat> and I'm just doing a simple kind of mat here, and so I used my, I think it's my scallop punch from Stampin' Up. I did a little bit of doodling, so this is in a uh, pink, let's see if I can get some better light here. Okay, so this is in pink, and then this is kind of like a rose red for a mat, and then I just glue down a strip of um, this ribbon. So this is just going to go right here in the middle. So I kept this part simple. Very, very simple. So let's go ahead and put that down there. And then I have my cute little bees. So I'm going to use this one, I think. I stamped all of their faces with my Everyday Character Face Assortment from Peachy Keen Stamps. And I did some um, stickles. So I did some kind of glittery stickles here and some yellow here on his body. And then I stamped all of their faces. And I was going to put, I probably will later put some chalk here. I might if I have some time on this video to do that. So I'm going to go ahead, have him on foam tape, and I'm going to set him down right here. I think he's really, really cute. So let's go ahead and get this going. I just love the peachy keen faces. They make everything so cute. Okay, so he's going to go right there. So there's the front of my card. Now we're going to work on the inside and the pop-up. So the way that it cuts, it cuts like this and you just kind of have to score it and kind of fold it. And this part that folds fits right in the groove of your card so that when it closes, well that's what it will close. So I'm going to go ahead and put some ATG on my card. And all not trying not to get it on the um, the scored edges, so just so that it won't stop it from closing properly. And my hello got a little bit bent because I had to figure out how to um, how it all kind of folded together. But once I figured it out, the card honestly just came together just so easily. Now I gotta try and put this together here. All right, so that goes there, and this goes here. Yeah, I'll go ahead and close the card and do it that way. Ta-da! Hello. And I also stamped my bottom sentiment 
been thinking of you, which is also from um, the Pink by Design stamp set. So it's just because and been thinking of you. And so I wanted to decorate the um, the inside of my image. And so I'm going to be putting the hive right here. Let's see if you can see that. Now I cut my hive and this is from Creative Twitter and it usually has like this really cute little heart here, but it didn't fit. I didn't cut it quite right. So it was sticking up and it just didn't look good. So I kind of had to chop that part off, but I still think it looks really cute. It was cut at, I believe, I think originally it was cut at two and a half, but I had to take that part off. And this paper is also from the Echo Park Hello Spring. So I, I'm going to put this here. So let me go ahead and put some ATG on this part. And sometimes that happens when you make a card. You know, you find out that your sizing isn't correct. And sometimes you don't necessarily, sometimes I recut, sometimes I don't. just depends. I didn't have a lot of this paper left, so I didn't. So there's that. And then I've got my little cute little bee. So I have three little bees. I'm sorry, my card kind of fell over, but I'll flip it over. As soon as I get the little tabs off of my, my phone tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, one little bee here on the bottom. One little bee. Another little bee on the bottom. And let's see here. Ah, I got all the foam. Yes. So another little bee here at the bottom and I've got one more B which I'm going to put right here so I just think this is so cute so the little bees of course are from Create a Critter I just got Create a Critter 2 uh, I don't think that they have it on the Gypsy yet so I'm hoping that Provo Craft will get it on the Gypsy quickly so that I could start really using it uh, let's take that right here. So stinking cute. Try to get that in there. Cute. So what I'm going to do just to kind of jazz it up just a tad is grab my chalk and let's see if I can't open this. I don't use chalk that much, but I do want to... Um, do a little bit with my cheeks. So I'm going to take my, my chalk and I'm just going to um, dab a little bit on the cheeks. On the little cheeks. There. Blow that off there. And out of the way and then I'm going to take my white gel pen and I'm just gonna doodle some little freckles in there and I'll just do it for all of them really quickly so you can get the completed look and almost done I just think this card is adorable I love I love 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 the artiste cartridge I mean, it is just so fun. Okay, and what you can do with it. So here is my completed inside of my pop-up card. And then here is the front. Thank you so much for watching today. This is Cindy with Creating with the Heart.